G'day guys, that guy Perps here, back with another music reaction video. A couple of weeks ago, um, in, I don't even remember what song it was, um, but I wrote it down. Someone said uh, I should check out Rev Payton's um, Big Damn Band. I think it might have been on, might have been on the, the George, um, George Strait song. I'm not sure, that's, yeah, again, I've got a really bad memory, but, it was around about that time that I saw the comment. I did copy it down into my notes and I wrote it on my notes here. So, um, but there was no song, uh, you know, no like check out Rev Payton's big band, blah, blah, whatever. So, as I typed it in, uh, on the list of stuff, there was a couple of old ones, a couple of new ones. But this Raise a Little Hell was um, the top of the list, you know. So, if it was the top of the list, hey, we'll do that one first. Um, there was one a little bit down that I thought might be might be sort of good to look at just because um, the little thumbnail had like more like Muppet sort of um, things. But I thought as an introduction to the channel, we'll um, we'll do this one. So this one's Raise a Little Hell, Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Band. Um, again, people keep telling me I should do research and I should look up who the people are and go onto Wiki and uh, you know. Oh yeah, this band was formed in blah blah blah, and it, but I don't want to know any of that. You know, like I want to come into this like completely blind and react. You know, I'm reacting to what I'm hearing. I'm not. I don't want to research and then do a review. If I wanted to do that, I'd I'd have a completely different setup on the channel. Um, so yeah, if that's not for you guys, um, you know, if you think that I'm like silly for you know just jumping in and whatever, um, then you know I. There's plenty of other channels out there that might be a better fit for you, but what I do here is I find new music. I'm here to open my musical knowledge, uh, explore new bands, um, and a lot of the time I didn't do that because I had preconceived ideas of what that music may sound like. And because of that, I've closed myself off to a lot of genres and a lot of artists um, that, you know, I just... I don't know why, but just it didn't really appeal to me with what people were saying about it and, um, you know, that preconceived idea. So I just want to go into things open-minded, open-eared, um, try and find new music, you know? Like, um, I have found so many new artists and bands from doing this channel and from the support of you guys. Um, it's been unbelievable. So I'm not going to stop, you know? Like, this is... It's, it's working for me, you know, like, if I was on here and I wasn't finding anyone new and no one I liked or whatever, then yeah, maybe I might do some research and just do the ones I like, but, um, at the moment, I'm going to stick to the, the way I do things now, um, again, if you want to see the whole song in full without any pausing, because I will pause, um, there'll be a link for the original video down in the description box. I implore you to go and watch that and then come back and you can watch me pause it as many times as I'm going to. Um, I can't guarantee that it's going to be heaps of pauses or not many pauses, but it's a reaction channel and I'm going to react. If I see something, I'm going to react to it. I can't react to it while they're still singing and playing because then I'll miss stuff. So I'm going to pause it. Um, but yeah, that's my little uh, warning and disclaimer out of the way. Um, but yeah, this is Raise a Little Hell. Uh by Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Band. Um, I like the the wordplay there. Like, obviously, a reverend has a big damn band. Um, sort of a bit cheeky for a reverend. I don't know if he is an actual reverend. Um, but then raising a little hell, you know, for a reverend who's normally, you know, considered to be in, uh, you know, the Christian-type faith and stuff like that. Um Raising hell is probably uh, not the preferred method of getting your message across. <laughs> but um, yeah, with that being said, guys, if you do like the reaction at the end, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you make it to the end of the video and you're like, eh, yeah, well, uh, this is pretty good, let's come along for the ride, just make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure your notification bells are set to all. Um, we do lots of different artists, different genres, and all sorts of stuff over here. So there's bound to be something that you, know, you like. Um, again, like I said... Oh, I've found heaps that I've liked. Um, some stuff I'm a little still on the fence with, but 
I'm, I'm keeping that open mind. I'm, I'm keeping that positive energy. Um, and we're going to move forward. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this one. Oh, yeah. So here's that preconceived ideas coming in. Um, knew nothing about it. First scene, we have a guitar and he's putting a slide on. So I'm going, okay, uh, maybe a country type feel. Could be wrong. I do love a slide guitar though, so I'm not, I'm not knocking it. And we've got a bit of a marching band drummer. How long, how long is it going to take me to get to uh, old Reverend Peyton's, uh, you know? I think he's got a lot of thicker growth than I do. The washboard. So, with this style of music, I'm still like, you know, I don't know all the genres, but this would be something that I'd probably hear on like a, a blues and roots type genre. Um, one of the, you know, I've done a few reactions to some stuff off Triple J, so they hold different, um, each night they do uh, different genres and stuff, um, like you know, short, fast, and loud is the punky sort of scene, and then they do a blues and roots, which is um, a lot of this sort of stuff. It, would that be, you know, let me know down in the comment section what genre you would class this at. Um, obviously, it's, um, yeah, a little bit sort of rootsy, I guess. Um, country, maybe, with the, the guitar and the instruments used. I don't know, let me know. Those masks are great. Like the horse. Now, is that a chipmunk or is that a squirrel? I don't know. We don't have either of them in this country. So, um, you could all, could it be a beaver? I don't know. I'd have to see it again. Um, but yeah, this looks so fun. Like you got obviously, you know, the fire breather, the, um, everyone's in dress and stuff. It looks like, um, like we have a, a festival here in March, um, or February, March, uh, it's like the Fringe Festival, and they usually have like comedy acts, and um, you know, the freak show comes over, and they do all like magic tricks, and sticks, swallow swords, and uh, you know, hang stuff from their ears, and all that sort of stuff, um, but it's got that sort of vibe to it, that sort of like uh, gypsy performer, um, sort of Mardi Gras type, you know, all come together, and just party sort of vibe, so um, again, I don't know if it's the sort of music that you know, I'd be drawn to and I'd, um, I'd put on, but if I had this on vinyl, I'd probably play this. Everybody hail, everybody hail, we just came to raise a little hail. Everybody hail, everybody hail, we just came to raise a little hail.
So you got everyone in the crowd. You, I saw bikers there before. Um, you got your your roller skate derby people. You got your your performers on stilts. Um, so it's like circus meets everyone. <laughs> it's just everyone piled together. Check them out. I think I know the lyrics of this one. I think I've got them down pat. Um, if you guys are struggling with the lyrics, um, you know I could, I can maybe find them on. on... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was gonna, I was gonna say I could find them online and post them down below, but I'm pretty sure you've got them. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that it's more for the vibe and and just to you know just to rock out with you know like. Um, the guitar solo, whew, that was, uh, that was, that was good, um, I wasn't, I didn't know what he was going to do, but just the sound of it, um, you know, using the, the slide and then the, like, just everything about it was, um, yeah, and this guy's drum kit, like, what is with this drum kit, like, it looks like he's just got some buckets and, you know, um, sort of brings me back to, you know, the band you'd make as like a little kid where, you, you know, you'd either have the saucepan, a couple of buckets, um, and yeah, you'd just be out there and you'd, you'd just put on a performance for, for mum and dad and, and it just, it, it went good, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> let's get back into it, we've got uh, 50 seconds left. It's catchy though. So it's like you got. Oh, we still got a while to go. What's. Yeah, Blue Monkey Sideshow, so I'm. Yeah, it was a roller derby. <laughs> so yeah, it's like you had, you just had everyone. I didn't see any sports teams, so um, like no baseball players, no no footy players or football, gridiron, anything. Um, 
but you had all your performers, you had, yeah, you guys on the roller skates, there was a unicyclist, there was a pole dancer, a girl on the ribbon, um, it's just a action-packed film clip, um, and I think the, the film clip made up for the simplicity of the song, you know, um, just listening to the song, you know, by the third, the third time you'd be like, ah, oh, yeah, okay, like, yeah, let's raise a little hell, but when combined with the visuals, it, it all just worked, you know, you had the little kid there with his drum, and then he started, and then, obviously, I'm guessing that's Reverend Peyton, um, you know, with the, the sly guitar, and then, you know, building up the layers, and building up the layers, and, and slowly more, and more, and more, and more people just came, and joined the big party, so, yeah, let me know what you thought of this one down in the comment section, guys, um, I thought it was, yeah, it was all just a bit of fun, um, would have actually liked to have been on the film clip, you know, um, it's these sorts of moments that, you know, you think that, that must have been a lot of fun to be with, um, be involved in anyway, so, yeah, let me know what you thought down in the comment section, guys, and until next time, I'm that guy, Perps, and I'll see you then.